When we're rethinking America's role in the world, we need to look at the world that we currently live in. It's a complex global community full of unique cultures and customs and histories. Um, and so moving forward into the 21st century, I feel that America needs to understand these uh, cultures and these histories of these nations in order to have a better understanding of how to engage in foreign policy. We definitely need a defined and, and solidified um, foreign doctrine off of which we can, we can base our goals and we can, we can assess our, our successes. So when we're talking about rethinking America's global engagement, I think that's something you can't do without looking at what the millennial generation has to say. I think as a generation, we are more connected to the world than ever, thanks to the rise of technology and the internet. I think that we view ourselves as global citizens and we have a right and a, a, right and a purpose to play in that. America's role in the world today should be one of support and collaboration. By engaging other nations in sustainable development, we can allow for success within their own cultural contexts. I believe we need to focus on our own domestic issues such as hunger, homelessness, and crime so that we are better prepared to handle foreign policy. I think we should address uh, that doctrine by um, analyzing three modes of identification. So the first mode being uh, past mistakes and accomplishments, maybe looking at uh, past uh, administrations like Nixon's, LBJ's. The second mode of identification being current mistakes and accomplishments. That would be uh, Bush's administration or Obama's administration. Uh, the last mode of identification being what we would like our future to be. By doing that, we can develop a, uh, a uh, less monolithic approach to the U.S. foreign policy doctrine and hopefully do away with uh, the mistakes of the past.